we go to Iowa. Okay. Where a Christian naval veteran is being charged with, of all things, a hate crime. What? For what you say? Well. For lopping off the head of a satanic statue <laughs> sitting in the Iowa Capitol building. It is what it is. This is Iowa. What the fuck? I'm Jasper Gonzo on this. So what's next? What's up everyone, Jazz Borgonzo, what's next? Do Daily Dose, Common Sense, Facts and Salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today on this Friday. Let's go back to Christmas. Last year, you had the menorah, you had the nativity scene with baby Jesus, and then off to the corner, you have a satanic statue display. Well, according to legislatures, well, you know, uh, we got to have, if we have the baby Jesus, we, we have to have equal representation, right? Wrong. No, the satanic statue should not even be anywhere near a Christmas tree, menorah, or the nativity. So, one gentleman stepped up. He said, you know what? I happened to see this one day. And I said, you know what? I want to do something. What's he do? Remove the statue. Put a bag over it. No, 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 my friends. He lops the head off the satanic statue, and now he's being brought up on hate charges. This is Iowa. This, out of Breitbart. Hate crime. Christian Navy veteran charged with tearing down a satanic statue in Iowa. Yes. And, of course, it's going after the kids. Gee, I wonder why. A Christian U.S. Navy veteran has been charged with a hate crime for admitting to beheading the satanic statue on display at the Iowa State Capitol in December. Michael Cassie was initially charged with a misdemeanor uh, criminal mischief on December 15th, which it is, but the Polk County Attorney's Office indicated that the Mississippi's ban admission that he destroyed the property because of the victim's religion prompted the charges to be upgraded to a third-degree criminal mischief violation of, the indiv of individual rights, a Class D felony. The cost of the repair or replace the damaged satanic statue would be between $750 and $1,500. Don't give up. Uh, the Polk County's Attorney's Office is seeks fair and just restitutions. I'm sorry, resolutions in all cases. And we continue to apply the law equally to all, regardless of religion, race, sexual orientation, and economic status. The retired military officer originally made headlines after tearing down a statue and removing the head from the statue. I see no issues. Cassidy told a senator at the time that he destroyed his statue to awaken Christians to the anti-Christian acts promoted by our government. The world may tell us that Christians to submissively accept the legitimization of Satan, but none of the founders would have considered government sanction of satanic altars inside capital buildings as protected by the First Amendment, Cassidy said. Anti-Christian values have steadily been mainstreamed more and more in recent decades, and Christians have largely acted like the proverbial frog in the boiling pot of water. Facts. And that is one Michael Cassidy. Police arrested Cassidy after he turned himself into officers. I saw the blasphemous statue and was outraged, the veteran said. My conscience is held to capture the word of God, not to bureaucratic decree, so I acted. Uh, Cassidy is set to be arraigned on February 15th. The statue was on public display in the Iowa Capitol building, about 100 feet from the Christmas tree, according to KCCI, of course, local news. It was permitted by rules of the government uh, governed religious installations inside the Capitol, the outlet reported. Satanic Temple co-founder Lucian Greaves said at the time that the statue was a symbol for religious freedom. Yes, not something of indoctrination. We're going, to, uh, we're going to really relish the opportunity to be represented in a public forum. We don't have a church on every street corner, Greaves said. My feeling is that if people don't like our display in public forums, they don't have to engage with them. They don't have to view them. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds came under fire for allowing such statue in a state's legislative building, though she responded by calling the display absolutely objectionable. Jack Posobiec on Twitter X. Stunned. Kim Reynolds was put to the test this week to see if she would stand up to the left with their disgraceful satanic stunt in the Iowa State Capitol and fight back. She utterly caved. Another typical do-nothing politician. Of course, that was December 12th of last year. Like many Iowans, I find the satanic temple display in Capitol absolutely objectionable. Not disgusting, not horrid, not uh, ridiculous, not insane, objectionable. Ronald sent in a statement. In a free society, the best response to objectionable speech is more speech. I agree, in most cases. 
And I encourage all those of faith to join me today in praying over the Capitol and recognizing the intimacy scene that will be on display, the true reason for the season. My thoughts. I have no issues. Like I just said, I've got zero problem with this story outside of him being charged with a hate crime, which is absolutely retarded. It is. Never go full retard, but the Polk County Attorney's Office decided to do such. I believe that at the end of the day, he will serve no jail time, probation, he'll get a slap on a wrist, pay the fine, the restitutions for beheading this satanic statue, and go on his merry way. Simply put, it's Christmas time. It's about the nativity. Jesus is the reason for the season. Not to have some stupid satanic display being on par with the nativity. So good for Mr. Cassidy. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Braganzo. This was the next one. See more like this piece of a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue to spread the word about the show. Help it continue to grow. And we'll see you next time. Peace.